Today's transmission is the four aspects of what it means when we say we trust or don't trust another being. Trust is not some blanket statement. There are aspects and many little worlds inside of them and I'm gonna break that down today. But first, let's stop for a moment and dance and let me remind you of who I am. And my name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. Ooh, ooh, hurrah! For those of you in the back, for the plants, hurrah! Let's go! Life is beautiful. And I'm about to break down something really amazing that will help you reframe your understanding of trust and don't trust. Some of you are going through breakups. Some of you have been traumatized and shamed by well-meaning parents. Some of you have been through all kinds of stuff with human beings because we are relational beings and you don't understand fully why you don't trust someone and I'm going to help you understand it. So there are four aspects. Number one, and this one is deeply necessary. Without this one, the rest of them don't count. The first aspect and component of trust is sincerity. If we don't have sincerity, meaning I trust your integrity, I trust that you, are, you sincerely have my or your or the world's best intentions at heart. You are not some snake oil salesman. You are not a con artist. You are not trying to harm me, the planet, my business, that. Number two is care. Do you actually care about me, the situation, the dog, the cat, the business, the uh, you name it? Whatever we're in, do you care, right? So sincerity, that's usually we're going to check that one off. The second one is do you care about this? Do you care about me, particularly in this kind of way, right? It gets really nuanced in this space, but sometimes people are super sincere, but they just don't care. Number three. Are you reliable? Is this, can I rely on this camera? Right? I could say I, I, I trust this camera, but can I rely on it? When I hit the record button, will it record? It's the same thing with our families and friends. You could say I trust that my wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend is sincere. I trust that they care about me. But I don't trust that I can rely on them to pick me up at 8 p.m. every day when I get off of work. Is that landing? You understand what I'm saying? Leave a comment below if this is landing right now. The fourth aspect of what it means to trust another being is competency, which another word for that would be someone's skill level. Do they know what they're doing? So another example, I could say, I trust that my dad is sincere. I trust that he cares about me. I trust that my dad will be reliable. What I don't trust is that he actually knows how to father me in such a way that I don't shut down and feel bad or stupid or experience all kinds of shame and trauma. Does that make sense? Please leave a comment below if this landed, if it resonated, if this is jumping off the page, if it's blowing your mind. Leave examples. Write a particular thing of, or person or example and where you have lost their trust or they've lost yours. Blessings and blessings. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I love you so much.